Hello, in today's video, I'll go through Power BI's connectivity on Databricks with private link enabled, specifically the front-end private link. And front-end private link is different versus back-end private link. Back-end private link refers to the secure traffic between Databricks data plane and Databricks control plane, whereas front-ends private link refer to your user's access to the workspace, the API connectivity, the JDBC and ODBC connectivity, as well as the Power BI connectivity. So you want to set it up so that you have the right networking component in place so Power BI can connect to Databricks with no problem. So first of all, we have is a Databricks control plane. Don't worry if you don't know the difference between a control plane and a data plane. I'll put the documentation in the link uh, description, but it's not important in this particular context. Just think of it as the Databricks instance that you're trying to connect to and Power BI is trying to connect to. So front-end private link says, in order to connect to Databricks, you need to be on the private network. And this means you need your VPN to be on when you're connecting to Databricks workspace. Someone that might ask, what's the difference between front-end private link and IP access list? With uh, IP access list, the traffic between the user and Databricks workspace is still traveling through public internet. Whereas with front-end private link, the traffic between the um, end user and the Databricks workspace is traveling through Azure Backbone. So that's a major difference. And once you are on the company VPN, you can now access Databricks workspace you would want to go to something called Partner Connect and go to the Power BI component, and download a connection file. And the file that you download will be called PBIDS, that stands for Power BI Data Source. And this is a file that has a connection string already populated to your SQL warehouse. Saves you the time not having to find the server host name, the HTTP pass for the SQL warehouse. It's already populated for you. You open the file and you put in your authentication credentials, and then you'll be able to connect to Databricks. Now, at this point, if I switch off my VPN and my um, local machine is now on um, public internet. The connectivity to the Databricks workspace will be lost. So even if I have the correct credentials and um, the connection string, I won't be able to connect to Databricks. This is because the networking rules of private link is preventing me um, connecting to the Databricks workspace. So I need to bring my VPN back online and do my development while I'm on my private network. And you do your development in your PBIX file, save it as a PBIX file, and ready to share with my team or the organization, the data model, the data uh, report that I have made. At this point, I will publish it to the, um, Power BI service. Those of you who knows Power BI knows Power BI is a SaaS service, which means you can't put it in a private network. Um, so Power BI service will need something to speak to the Databricks instance um, in order to connect to it. You need something to um, act as a gateway. In this instance, you need two different options. One is called on-prem gateway, and the other is called VNet gateway. 
both of them are good options to connect to any data source that is in a private network for Wild VI to connect to. Bear in mind, VNet Gateway is still a public preview feature. So in this case, you will have Power BI connect to the gateway and gateway connect to the uh, Databricks control plane through private endpoint. So now, if you are in a development environment, you need to be on the VPN on your local machine to talk to Databricks uh, workspace control plane. And if you're in Power BI service, in order to do any kind of refresh, any kind of um, direct query, you need to have either a on-prem gateway or VNet gateway set up so your Power BI service can connect to Databricks in order to do the refresh and the direct query it needs to do. Hopefully that explains the options to connect Power BI to Databricks when you have private um, link on the front end enabled. Leave me a comment if you have any questions.